He would do this during surgery and he can make the patient instantly feel like they're floating up and watching from above. Out of body experiences or OBEs, this is when you feel like your actual consciousness, your soul or yourself is floating right out of your head and looking down at your body. People who have this will swear that it's absolute proof of the soul, but honestly, there's always better explanations. I wouldn't say these people are lying, and I even think a strong argument can be made for out of body experiences being possible. There are some reasonable explanations, I think. There's just no evidence. It actually turns out that your sense of being you, of being right here, grounded in your head, is controlled by this small, specific spot in the brain called the temporoparietal junction, the TPJ. This is basically your brain's internal GPS. It takes all the signals from what you see and what you feel and what you expect from experience and your memory, you know, where your arms are and all that type of stuff. And it puts them all together to give you a sense of where you are compared to other things outside of you. The wild part is that when that spot gets confused, you get an out-of-body experience. Researchers prove this repeatedly. They actually found ways to make people have OBEs in the lab. People think so many supernatural claims are too mysterious to be tested or that they're too far outside of our reach, and that might be true for some things, but really, that mentality doesn't get us far. Lots of these things can be tested in lots of ways. There was a neuroscientist named Olaf Blanc who found out that by sending a tiny electrical pulse to that specific area of the brain that we talked about, he would do this during surgery and he can make the patient instantly feel like they're floating up and watching from above. This has been done a lot since then. The whole experience is mapped to a physical spot in the brain and they've tested it to see whether or not these people were actually floating outside of their bodies. Researchers have set up double blind studies in hospitals all over the world. They put things in the room where the patient couldn't possibly see them if they were confined just to their physical body. They put up small pictures or words or symbols on the tops of tall cabinets and surgical lamps or high shelves or anything like that. So these targets are only visible from a high vantage point, maybe 10 feet or more above the bed. And of course, they make sure the hospital staff can't see them and the patient definitely can't see them. And the test is pretty simple. After the whole procedure, if a patient says that they had an out-of-body experience and claims that they floated near the ceiling or something like that, they should be able to look down, see the words or symbols on the shelves, and they should be able to describe them later on. Not a single patient has accurately reported the hidden images. There's been very few that were kind of close, but no better than random chance at all. You could look into these studies yourself. There's absolutely nothing 